Hello there, viewer. Welcome to Virtual Boys and welcome to Neo Geo Play, um, where I play Neo Geo. Uh, there's just a ton of Neo Geo games, some I'm fairly familiar with, some that I'm not familiar with at all, and yeah, I wanted to I wanted to just dive into the catalogue and, and play some, so, so what better way to do that than to start a new series where we just play some Neo Geo and maybe learn about it together and uh, yeah, just just see see this see this fantastic catalogue. So we're gonna start with Art of Fighting, which I think came out in nineteen ninety two, I'm gonna say. Um, as far as I know there's three Art of Fighting games. This is the first one. So very simple character selection. This is uh, it's a 2D fighting game. This is this is your your Street Fighter, your King of Fighters. Um, but one of SNK's early fighting games. So you might know SNK in terms of in terms of fighting games. Um, you, you're probably familiar with King of Fighters. Uh, maybe Samurai Showdown. Maybe Guru, Mark of the Wolves. Um, maybe Fatal Fury. Like they made so many. And yeah, Art of Fighting is one of the early ones. And it's got a few funny systems that make it really unique in fighting games. So the first one is that underneath the life bar, you can see at the top, there's a there's a second bar, which which may look like the super combo bar in Street Fighter or, or the EX bar or something like that. Um, but what it, what it actually is, it, it goes down. Every time you do a um, special move, so a fireball or um, this big kick across the screen that Robert does, uh, the bar goes down. When it runs out, you can't do it anymore. And you can reduce your opponents by taunting them. So you'll notice when I do that little taunt, uh, my opponent's bar goes down. Um, so that's constantly going down, and you can raise it by holding one of your attack buttons. You notice there, right, my shoulder's gone fire, and my meter's gone to the top again. So there's this there's this risk reward of uh, using up your special moves, um, and then trying to charge your bar up again without your opponent coming in and absolutely battering you. Because you don't really have a lot of health in Art of Fighting. It doesn't take much to knock your health down to zero. So you've really got to pick your time perfectly when you want to recharge your bar and when you want to taunt your opponent to lower their bar. So it's, it, I, think it's, I think it's quite a cool system. And you don't see it in other fighters. It's definitely unique to this series. Okay. The other thing is art, fighters, art fighting is really hard. Like, really, really hard. I, I, didn't, I didn't used to play art fighting this, this game. I used to play art fighting 2. Um, at an arcade at a holiday camp that I used to holiday in as a kid. And I just remember it being absolutely solid. And that nothing has changed in my 30s. Okay, so you, you'll probably notice as well when we're at the character select screen, there's only two characters available to select. Um, that's not because it's a demo or anything like that. It's um, the single player version, much like Street Fighter 1. In the single player, you're very limited in who you can select. It's a story mode, and it only lets you play as two characters. That's Ryo, not Ryu, Ryo, and Robert, who I'm playing now. Both of whom go on to starring King of Fighters. Um, I don't know as if King of Fighters... Maybe, maybe it was always considered like a compilation game, but but it it features characters from all the different SNK fighters. And... and all of SNK's fighters seem to just feature all the all the same kind of character roster, and they all share characters, and that's kind of interesting. I suppose, in a way, like your uh, Marvelous Capcoms and things like that. Oh God, this guy! Oh, Jack is always completely solid. Just batters you. As I said, it doesn't take much in art fighting for your for your health bar to go down, you got to be, you got to be really careful. So if I can taunt him a bit and lower his bar, and now my bar's at the bottom. Oh, you see, so because my special bar had run out, then I couldn't do any more special moves, so I had to risk um, recharging, which backfired because he came and kicked me in the head. Come back anytime, I'll show you a lesson you won't forget. 
Okay, we are going to come back. Press A button, then C button, and strike our blow. Okay, so that's that's actually a good reminder. We're going to choose Rio this time. That, um, yeah, there's like a context-sensitive um, attack in our fighting. So, so Neo Geo buttons are always referred to as A, B, C, and D, which... Um, on a on a regular controller, I'm playing this on Switch, and and that translates to Y B X and A. Um, so in this game, A is your taunt, and then Y and B are, are, are the A and B in Neo Geo button. Sorry, this is getting very confusing. A and B on the Neo Geo arcade machine are punch and kick in this. So that's 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 your punch and kick. And then C is like a hard attack, and it and it's context dependent on what button was hit before it. So if you press punch and then you press C, you do a hard punch. And if you do a kick and then press C, you'll do a hard kick. So you're kind of mixing that into your combos. And I forgot that that existed until um, in the game over screen it just reminded me. Oh, crap. I also like in Art Fighting how your characters get bruised. So look at my, my dude's face. It's kind of all bruised up and gone purple. Jack is absolutely solid. I'm gonna chuck some more credits in. Press B then C to deliver a hard kick, yeah. Okay, I don't think there's actually any difference between Rio and Robert. I think they've got the same moves. Yeah, they've both got that kick. They've both got the fireball. Really need to recharge my special meter. There's got to be a, another name for that meter other than special meter. Should have done my research. I'll do my research in time for art fighting too. Oh come on! Oh. Okay, so we almost beat him there. I'm going quiet now because I'm concentrating. Obviously not concentrating hard enough. Okay, so I've got my hard kick there. Oh, I wasn't good enough. We're gonna we're gonna get this guy. So we're gonna look at lots of different Neo Geo games. Not just fighting games. That's not that's not the whole channel. What's interesting about Neo Geo to me, and why why I'm kind of so interested in, in, in doing a series where I look at Neo Geo games, is that when I was young and reading video game magazines, and they would cover Neo Geo games, there's always a, there was always this kind of like mysticism with Neo Geo, and it's kind of hard to explain if you if you weren't there. But Neo Geo, uh, the console, the AEC, uh, AES, they called it. I think advanced entertainment system, something like that. Anyway, the, the home console, it, the cartridges that you put in it with the games on, they were literally the same cartridges that went into arcade machines. So, unlike the Super Nintendo and the Mega Drive, you weren't getting home ports of arcade games. You were literally buying arcade boards that stuck in your home console. Now, that did mean that the the, the games cost like two hundred and fifty pounds each. But as I say, the, the the console had this kind of mysticism, and you know, you'd read. You'd, you'd see these games in magazines and these big sprites and like amazing looking games and you know the video game magazines then would always tell you the price of the games and it would always be like 180 quid or 250 quid and it was just this like wow who is buying this machine I, I read online today that the, the actual console when you consider it with inflation it, it cost 1250 pounds at the time so it it was they actually, when they designed the console, it, it wasn't meant to be, it wasn't meant to be released for home use. Um, they designed it to give to gaming shops to use as like a demo machine to like demo arcade arcade games. And then, but there was so much interest in it that they they released it as like a luxury console. I feel like that didn't go very well. I don't think I broke any. Failed the training. And I never owned one for, I mean, for obvious reasons. Um, but but that that kind of 
interest and mysticism has always stayed with me. And now they release these Neo Geo games digitally on PSN and on Xbox Live and, and on the Switch now as well. And, you know, they're six pounds each. So for me to be able to just jump on the Switch store and buy all of these Neo Geo games that I grew up with them totally out of my price range. And I, like, I try and buy one every paycheck now, just as a little, you know, I want the, I want the collection. And I, yeah, I think, I think it's awesome. And, and it's kind of cool that they're, they're so easy to get hold of now. And these ports are so good as well. You know, they're, they're arcade perfect ports. They've got some, lots of display options, so you can put filters on the graphics and things like that. Um, and yeah, they're really nice. I started picking them up on on PS4, and then and then when the Switch came out, I thought I would I translate it to the Switch because it's you know not only have I got these games on my home console, I've also got them on a portable console now, which is which is totally cool. So switching back to the character selection, if you play Art of Fine two player, you can actually select all the characters. Um, so you you're only you're only stuck with Robert and Rio if you're playing the single player. Oh god. Oh I'm dizzy. So other games that we're gonna be eventually looking at in the series, um, as I said, not just fighting games, although you know, the Neo Geo was kind of synonymous with great fighters. Um, there's games like Neo Turf Masters, which is you know, one of the coolest golf games <laughs> on the market. You've got games like Last Resort, which is which is kind of an R-type like, um, like a scrolling shooter. You've got Magician Lord, which is um, I don't know, it's a bit like Ghouls and Ghosts or Alt Beast kind of game. Um, and then the, we've got fighting games like King of Fighters. We've got Waku Waku Seven. Uh, what else have we got? We've got Samurai Showdown. We've got Guru. Um, Fatal Fury, what else? There's just tons, absolutely tons and tons and tons. And uh, I'm gonna try and spread the games out so we're not just looking at fighting games um, in a row. Okay, so I think I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, I've really enjoyed it, and um, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting to Art Fighting 2 and 3. Because, yeah, I, I do love these games. I think they're fantastic. I think, I think, they're, I think they're fun to look at, uh, because they're a bit different than, you, than, than a lot of your fighting games. Even fighting games that are on uh, this console by the same developer. So, yeah, I think that's interesting. So, next time, you'll join me for episode 2 of what we call in this... Neo Geo, Neo Geo Play, Neo Geo Plays, Play Neo Geo. I, d I don't know. I'll I'll clearly figure out a name because there'll be a there'll be a name on the series on the playlist. So yeah, join me next time and thank you again for watching. Um, oh, it's a switch pop, isn't it? Um, yeah, thanks thanks for joining me and yeah, join me next time and we'll we'll play some more Neo Geo. All right, bye 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 bye.